Mr. Fry, I trust that you had a productive meeting with Mr. Owen. Oh, yes, we had the most wonderful chat. I found out the man behind Starrick's soothing syrup is John Elliotson. Dr. Elliotson, I haven't heard that name in a long while. He was a brilliant heart specialist until he became obsessed with phrenology and mesmerism. It ruined his career. Well, how shall we proceed? Oh, with all respect, Mr. Darwin, I believe I should proceed alone. After all, we wouldn't want to attract any unwanted attention. Sounds very wise. Good luck, my boy. Oh, and uh, Mr. Fry, should you find yourself with any free time, please do call on me. You fancy some fun? Where would I find the doctor? As you've just witnessed, the application of too much pressure can sometimes result in unexpected outcomes. Unfortunately, it appears I've ruined the organ. Send up a cadaver. At once, Dr. Elitson. I don't care about your ethics, and I care even less about your damn patience. Now hand over your keys. What are you doing? Haven't you heard? You're fired. Now bugger off.
How hard can it be to fix a bloody crack in the wall? And don't come back! There's a mud right here. I'm sorry, sir, but you aren't allowed in here. Here it is, Doctor. We will continue our experiment shortly. In a moment, we will compare the brains of our two specimens. Since both specimens had a propensity towards violent behavior, we should see similar protrusions in specific parts of his... Do not have boots. with the blood of visionaries. All I see is the blood of a lunatic. <laughs> Do you truly believe murdering an old man will stop humanity's great architect? Crawford Sterrick has a glorious design for mankind. Designs are meant to be broken. I are a child. A child who believes he can solve all the world's woes with a flick of a blade. Have you ever pondered the consequences of your actions, Jacob Fry? Or did your father teach you nothing? Syrup production has ceased. Outrageous! Fry intends to endanger all of London at the hands of the mob. Or perhaps he doesn't intend much of anything at all. Thank He's you simply content to dice with our lives. The asylum is shut up. Medical care throughout the city is in disarray. He does not, cannot understand the consequences of his actions. The man is clearly an anarchist. Gentlemen. This tea was brought to me from India. By a ship. 
then up from the harbor to a factory, where it was packaged and ferried by carriage to my door, unpacked in the larder and brought upstairs to me. All by men and women who work for me, who are indebted to me, Crawford Starrick, for their jobs, the time, the very lives they lead. They will work in my factories, and so too shall their children. And you come to me with talk of this Jacob Fry, this insignificant blemish who calls himself assassin? You disrespect the very city that works day and night so that we may drink this, this miracle, this tea. I'm nearing the end of my research. Our beloved London shall not suffer such a bothersome fool for much longer. And what of this sister I've heard of? Miss Fry. Miss Fry shall be gutted. Soon enough. Delicious. Sorry to interrupt in a shit. Thought you'd like to know that Sean and Rebecca got away from Odsoberg.